Okay, this is Queen Andrea Antoinette Jones. Welcome to the Andrea Antoinette Jones channel. I am pregnant and I'm being left on the streets in America. I'm being set up. This is the same intersection, uh, North Harrison Road Memorial Drive, where I walked down this road when I left Leroy's house. And I made a series of videos because Leroy was trying to stop me from putting out the evidence to my case in his house. And he put me out of his home while I was in a good place and started to work on my case. So I started filming what they were trying to do because they're trying to have my channel all discombobulated to where people cannot focus on the specific videos with the evidence. And it's also a part of a smear campaign, uh, uh, a persecution uh, to try to have the videos of me putting information out, just uh, something for their entertainment to look at me um, pregnant, dragging my bags, hurt across the country. Um, they're laughing and they're plotting and they're using it as um, leverage. So I I'm filming myself trying to cross this street right now um, because I have been set up all over this country. I had a vision at this motel where D'Angelo had me and I had a vision of a bunch of black people and they were saying something about they were trying to burn someone in August in Alabama. Oh, geez, I'm sorry, y'all. It is so hard for me to drag this bag like this, pregnant with this baby. Uh -huh. And all these people watching know that I'm pregnant and it's a uh, persecution. So they think they gonna help these devils do this shit to me and my body. So they starved us in the jail. Um, they poisoned me and the baby for 10 months past my due date. They ran me out of Texas trying to murder me, leaving me outside in Conroe, Texas and Houston, Texas. They starved us. They had blacks involved with bringing in temperate food items inside of their home, uh, stale food uh, inside of their home to try to keep me starved. Um, they have all sorts of, everybody is involved. That's why I'm constantly making the videos by myself. The only thing, they can, they can only try to do things to try to discredit me. So I'm about to go over here in the shade and I am so psychologically and severely abused that I'm about to smoke another cigarette. And they're satanically abusing me so that I will be smoking the cigarettes and stuff because they do this to all of their victims. They do this to all of their victims and they try to come around and give you drugs you ain't never even took and want to try to use that against you as well while you pregnant and then they will want to steal your child with these whites and these police and try to molest your child. But let me just get over here to the shade um, and smoke me a cigarette. I don't want to get that close to the woods, but it's like some real shade over there, like real talk. But I'm pregnant and I don't want to have to run from nothing, God damn it. Cause I damn sure will take off, but I have to leave my suitcase. So anyway, um, they had several guys try to talk to me, but I had a vision um, when I was in the, in the uh, motel where D'Angelo had got me. And some blacks came to me saying they were trying to burn somebody in Alabama and that they had to stop them. Uh, and they were swerving around in cars and they had people, blacks involved, trying to help burn another black. And I think they said that it was a male. I think they said it was a male, a black man, that something happened with a black man in Alabama and that they was covering that up or that it was me because they did say they wanted to burn me when I was in the Montgomery County Jail. Um, they, 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 Cynthia Overa did the witchcraft with Joseph Overa, Austin and the Black Freemasons. And they were saying they wanted to burn me um, in front of the entire country for shooting a white man. So I don't know if maybe y'all have some history of maybe some lynchings that may have been done or, cause I have heard a story of uh, four black males being lynched. I heard a story of them being burned and this person is coming near me 
Um, and the parking lot is completely empty and it's a black male. And I'm pretty sure he is involved with these black Freemasons because they all are all over the country. Um, and they're trying to intimidate me while I'm trying to get somewhere to tell y'all that what's going on. They're helping these, uh, these whites. So anyway, um, these, these, these black men wound up hung somewhere and everybody was trying to pretend like they did not know what happened and that they needed to find information about how these black males ended up hung and i'm like that's some racist shit and i knew when they said uh sandra ended up hung in her cell and the way they came and shot korean games um they shot tatiana jefferson um they stumped out george floyd um they shot uh they 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 choked what, who, what was his name michael brown or eric brown they, they've been killing a lot of black people um, um, the, the Holy Spirit and these people came and did witchcraft telling me that they had something to do with the death of Trayvon Martin. And it was the black gang members. And George Zimmerman is not in jail. So, and his father is a Freemason. Trayvon Martin's father. And Sandra Bland's mother uh, was accepted into a uh, satanic witchcraft uh, Luciferian uh, uh, cult. Uh, which is called a fraternity, a sorority for women. Um, and they probably had something to do with the death of Sandra Bland uh, because those sororities run uh, with these same people that own the facilities where her daughter was murdered. And she was shown uh, with photographs with white women smiling after the death of her daughter and was awarded $1.9 million after Sandra Bland was killed inside of a facility in Texas. And they tried to murder me in Texas, and my family was well aware, the blacks in Texas was well aware. So in this vision, they said that uh, they had to stop them from burning someone in Alabama. Now, they tried, they said they was going to burn me, the black Freemasons, when I was in Conroe, Texas, in the jail cell. They did this witchcraft. And everybody is looking at my channel anyway, so I'm not going to be intimidated by this man just staring at me getting out of his car, you know. But anyway, um, so... Uh, basically, they said they was going to burn me because I said in their face, they know what they said. And he is, he's a uh, hes a Chinese man on the store. But God already told me all the, all the Chinese people know and who own all these businesses all across America. And he said they on the white people's side. He said they not on my side. He said they have done things to sabotage me and overcharge me to try to have me broke out here on the streets. So I'm going to just tell you like it is. I'm going to say what I need to say. And his parking lot is way over there. And this parking lot is way huge. And they let people smoke crack. And somebody's over there smoking weed and crack right there. So can't nobody say nothing to Andrea Jones. So anyway, let me um, go ahead and tell you. So um, they said they was going to burn me uh, when I was in the jail cell in Cairo, Texas, when they stripped me out of my clothes and stripped me down to some chair. And I had been spiked or drugged, and they was doing witchcraft and uh, said that they was going to burn me. Cynthia Overa, Joseph Overa, the Cairo Police Department, um, and the Black Freemasons, along with some black women, some notable high-profile uh, black women, were saying that they was, they was witches and saying they was going to burn me with these white people because this is white people country. That's what they said. And it was black Black people, black Freemasons saying that, saying that they, they, they worship the whites and that they was going to burn me because I hurt one of their masters, basically. That's how they was putting it, that I hurt their masters, you know what I'm saying? And so they was over there saying that they was going to burn me in front of the country. And they were saying they was going to shoot me up with bullets. They said they was going to shoot me up. That's a red bird. I'm Indian, I believe. I kiss them for good luck. And when that red bird came flying down there in my face, I knew that was good luck. They said they was going to riddle me with bullets because I'm telling what they said. They said they was going to shoot me with their guns. They said all of them was going to come outside with their guns and shoot me up with hundreds and hundreds of thousands of bullets in my body. And then they said they was going to drag me to be burned in front of the entire country for shooting a white man in his leg while he was slinging my little 22-month-old baby around being violent with me, attacking me somewhere where I went in for help with me and my baby, my 22-month-old baby in my arm. He attacked me, ran me out of my house and attacking us in the restaurant and then was being violent with my baby and somebody was trying to restrain him while he was being violent with my child and I'm pregnant. So they said they was going to burn me and shoot me up. So in this vision that I had um, at, the, at the hotel where D'Angelo had me, some black people was telling me that they was trying to save somebody from being burned. But I think they said it was a black man. But God already told me about the black people in this country. Yeah, they'll go running to try to save a black man, but to, there was people that helped me. Um, but at the same time, it's something that needs to be put out globally. 
from what God said on an international level because it's nobody can really, really help me with this type of system that we in because everybody is kind of trying to look out for themselves if they not involved to that extent. However, the system can use whoever they can use to try to harm me and make this turn out the way that they want it to. That's what's going on. Um, whew, see, this is why they want me outside. So I cannot remember and, and go into close detail. So what I'm gonna do is, um, one of my pastors was telling me that I needed to write a book. I already was writing a book and I know spiritually she was speaking to me because these white witches do not want me to write this book because you can sue me for defamation. I don't give a damn, you know what I'm saying? Because everything that I'm putting is true and it is my life. You know what I'm saying? And I do not mind whatever consequences come with telling the truth because God said the truth will set you free. And that's the only way that I'm going to get this evidence out because they have done so much to me that in order for me to be able to present it, I have to write it down. And it is so much that they have done and they are continuously continuing to do it that it's stacking up on top of pa it's paper on top of paper, statement on top of statement that it has become an entire book. And it is damn near finna become an entire series if they do not stop this bullshit. So I'm going to go ahead and start writing the book. They are, I'm, I'm going to be writing down my statement of what happened, what God said is the evidence, the 19911 calls, how long Austin Matter has been abusing me since December 2015. He was charged with assault family violence. They changed the charge inside of the jail, and they are trying to cover up that this man has been abusing me uh, since 2015. Um, I believe that they bred me for my son in some kind of way with how they had Austin Matter come at me. It's a lot of information. And so I'm going to go ahead and write this book since I'm homeless being left on the streets and I have a pen and I have a piece of paper. And that is something that I can do is sit down and write down this evidence, which statements turn into a book. And I am going to publicize this book. And everybody who was involved with trying to have me murdered in this country, everybody who took me to places where they tried to do things to me and this child. Their real name will be put in this book. And I know that God said that they will try to shoot me in the streets, that they will try to kill my investigator, that they will try to kill people who have the information. So I'm going out on the limb for my son because Cynthia Overa and these people did this witchcraft saying that they will rape and kill and mutilate my child. I owe it to my child as a mother. I am not a slave. And it goes back to slavery about why I'm writing the book. Because during slavery, these people were able to have black men and other nations rip a child from their mother. They was allowed to beat women of color inside of the homes where they had them as slaves. And I got to turn my back to this black lady that just pulled up because she living in the system. Because you don't just walk past Andrea Jones like you don't know me. You extend your hand, you help me, and you offer me somewhere of refuge. And if you're gonna walk past me and act like you don't know me, I'm gonna turn my back to you. Because it's just a form of intimidation. So, back to slavery. They was allowed to beat African American women out of their habitats. So, African women of our bloodline and Indian women and Israelite women, women of the tribes. Yes, we have been renamed, but we, have, we also have to identify with some of the classifications that we currently have. That's what the Holy Spirit told me. But we are classified on a deeper level according to who God created us to be. So they stripped us from our habitat. So out in nature, they feel like they can abuse us off rip. So that's what they doing to me right now. They think they can abuse me off rip, but they don't think you can abuse the white woman out here. So during slavery, when they got free, they would leave African women outside without food and shelter and things like that. But the ones who were still willing to serve the whites and do all this, that stuff and allow themselves and their children to be abused, they could go back up in the house and, 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 and work for them and stuff like that, which is also sort of what's going on right now. Um, because they have tried to instill this slavery mentality about me protecting myself. They're trying to leave me outside as they did like runaway slaves or people who got free but didn't have a way to support themselves on this land because they was a free man or a free woman. 
And I'm pretty sure that came with a lot of persecution, which is why a lot of people ended up selling out, and the, which is what they're doing right now, because it ain't never been nothing easy in this country, especially when you become an adult and your parent is not doing it for you like you, it, when you was a child. So as an adult, I, to see what they're trying to do with my son, it really opened my eyes to what they did to our people in this country because they taught us about it. We knew about the history. We saw the fighting. We saw the people out there marching up until this day. They out there marching and, you know, to understand why they doing it or why they did it back in the day because now they on some fake fraudulent shit. They infiltrated and they did that back then when they killed a lot of our civil rights leaders. But right now, it made me understand that when Cynthia Overa and Joseph Overa threatened to take my little boy and rape him, these whites have felt that they could snatch a black woman baby. So during slavery, they were snatching her baby and take her baby into a room and do things with her child, her four-year-old, her five-year-old, her newborn. And they had black men who were slaves to help them keep that black woman from fighting back and running back to that house and getting her baby. And that's what the black Freemasons are. They are the slave black men that stop us from going to get our children. They are the slave black men that have helped drag a black woman who protected herself from a white person throughout history to her death. It's been them the entire time and their wives, them Eastern star black women that try to act all high and mighty and white and then try to spit on the black women that say I'd rather be poor than to let them do that to me and my kids. And they just getting paid to turn y'all from the Lord. They just being paid to turn y'all from the most high God because that's who they serve. They serve Satan. All them rich white, all them rich black people been serving Satan this entire time. They got rich by sitting back and not struggling with the rest of the blacks. They got rich by sitting back and then investing in slavery instead of trying to get away. That's how they got rich. And they've been serving Satan. And they're going to have to go to hell for it. And they out here helping, trying to persecute me. But they come from bloodlines of people that's been helping these people. And now they're trying to turn all of the masses away from Jehovah on this earth. Right here in my country, the blacks are being used. All of the celebrities do not watch them, do not listen to them, do not support them. They are vessels for Satan. They are demonically possessed. Every single last one of those A-list actors, every single last one of them, every ethnicity on that television screen is being used for the devil. Even their telemarketers, even their uh, pastors that are on the television screen, everything, all the places that they ask you to donate to, all the commercials have the mark of the beast, everything is being used to turn you against the Most High God and get you to worship Satan. And they're going to use the black celebrities to mislead everybody on this earth to denounce Jesus Christ, who is of color, and to denounce Jehovah, who is of color, to worship Satan, who is white. And that's why they out here trying to help these people to kill me, because Satan feel like his kingdom is going to rule over all the earth before Jesus Christ come back. And he feel like he's going to persecute all of us who is in the bloodline of Jesus Christ. And he think that he's going to kill us and then have them talking about they're going to rape our babies and kill our babies up in our womb while they talk about they want to worship white people so they can live. So now the children of God is being manifest and the children of the devil is being manifest. And if you're going to kill me and shoot me down in the streets, then you just going to have to go ahead and do it. Because I ain't finna serve these white devils with y'all. I ain't about to do it. I'm about to go in Dollar General or somewhere and find me something to snack on. I ain't really got enough money to get something to eat, but it ain't that. it ain't the first time that I done had to go through this. And the black Freemasons is trying to talk to me, but they not gonna offer me the help that I need to be able to get free. They just gonna offer me enough help to make it look like I'm lying about what's going on in this country. See what I'm saying? So I don't want that help, not really. If you can't donate me no money, like my uh, my uh, GoFundMe account that I set up to raise $50,000 would have been able to get me free from this bullshit. Because they enslaved, they are. All of them are enslaved. 
So when God punish these white people, he gonna punish all of these black people that's helping them do this shit right along with them. And the only ones that's gonna get saved up out this morning is the ones who is remorseful in their hearts and they wish they could do something to help. They the only ones who gonna get saved from God. So, and the devils are very angry. So they got, and the black people that's going down with them are very angry because they know I have been accepted by God. They know, and they try to get me to denounce Jesus Christ. They try to get me to denounce Jehovah. Um, and they know that I know that they are covered and that they worship and Satan. And they try to get me to denounce him uh, because I know what they doing. And I'm not doing it because I understand what their uh, demise is. They can do whatever to harm me in my physical body, but I understand that it is something far worse that's going to happen to them. And see, they more jealous of my salvation with Jesus Christ than they are than I than they want me to be about their cars and their houses that they got because they leaving me outside. You know, and then having me up in hotels after they done stole my apartment and gave it to the white man that I told y'all was abusing me. So, uh, ooh, I can, I'm going, ooh, I think I might go to, uh, get me something to eat. You know, I, I do, I think I do got enough to get me a little something to eat, but hold on. Ooh, yeah, hold on. I'm just so hot right now. I don't even know how much cash I got on me. But anyway, so, um, they're more jealous of my salvation. Um, then, because they're trying to make me jealous of their bodies. Um, they're trying to make me jealous of um, their cars because my car was taken from me. They're trying to make me jealous of their children um, who they are getting, they, they sacrificing their children. And then they're getting their children to worship uh, Satan with them. And they're trying to make me jealous of their kids. Why would I be jealous of your child? You making your child worship Satan with you. I'm not jealous of your child. I want my child. And if you ask me, me and my children is the most beautiful people on this earth. And the people from my bloodline. So I'm not jealous of none of the people that's trying to sell me out. You know, because they 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 dismissing their salvation and their salvation is more important than them cars that they selling me out for. Cause they done gave them cars to set me up. Um they done gave them houses to set me up. You know, this is ridiculous. They done gave them checks, money to set me up. You know what I'm saying? And then they expected me to be jealous while they running around spending money that the government done gave them to help them cover up my pregnancy. Like, what the fuck? I'm not jealous of you. I don't want nothing. I don't want no money about this country. So the fact that they going to hell got them more angry with me than anything because Jesus Christ already said that everybody who was involved with trying to kill me in that cell, he cast them out of the kingdom of heaven. And he said, all my enemies, and they all around me, he was like, all my enemies, he said they was going to hell. And he had to let me know that they had denounced him and they had decided they was going to worship Satan. And then the Lord showed me that Satan was white. And I was like, damn, okay. And it's some sort of judgment um, that's happening in the earth. And they running around rampant. And, you know, when God said uh, that the devil come down with great wrath, Man, I didn't understand demonic possession. So when you're not possessed with the Holy Spirit and you done allowed yourself to be possessed by Satan and you really walking around with that spirit, they got great wrath. They riding around mad because of the judgment of Jesus Christ that's going to come upon them. And they glorifying the riches and everything because that's what they did it for. You know what I'm saying? And they mad um, because, yes, I'm poor and everything, but I still get to go to heaven. And that's serious because I, 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 I was scared, too, when he showed me the lake of uh, burning sulfur. And I was praying, God, please don't put me there. And he let me know I'm going to save you and no weapon formed against you shall prosper. And so I'm scared because they doing the stuff to me and I know what they did. And then they uh they mad at God and they keep trying to go against God and they know that Jehovah is helping me and they know that Jesus Christ is helping me and I'm in awe like I'm not awe but I'm shocked at how they trying to fight Jehovah and how they trying to fight Jesus Christ by continuing to do this to me um, and not letting up and giving me my son. So Cynthia told me that she was already know she's going to hell. She told me that she done did too much stuff with this satanic coven to where God has where she God already let her know she's going to hell. So, oh yes, that, hold on, let me go back to, um, let me move over here real quick. Let me go back to something about slavery before I go in this story because this is very important um, about the going to hell part. Okay, so say 
it's a little child right there and this coven that wants you to join this coven got a little child right there and they all finna do something to this little child and they let you know that you worship and say and they letting you know that you denouncing Jesus Christ and Jehovah they letting you know what time it is and then God they letting you know that God is not going to accept you in his kingdom after you do this to this child with us and these people have been doing this for a very long time to women, men, and children. Um, they have been doing things to these people, hurting these people, uh, and rituals and stuff. And um, God has cursed these people. And so the first time that you, like, say these people brought me into a room and were like, hey, we finna all do this to such and such, uh, to this person or to this innocent child or this innocent woman. And we say in this, and if you do this with us, if I do that, the Holy Spirit let you know, you going to hell if you do this with these people. And then once you do it with them, you're going to hell. Nine times out of 10, because certain people's heart is different. But nine times out of 10, you're going to hell. You know what I'm saying? And then when you try to get out the coven and be like, hey, um, I don't like what they did to that child or I don't like what they did to that woman or I don't like what they did to that man. Then they try to kill the person um, who, uh, who who joined the coven and don't want to do it anymore. So um, it's been a lot of people from the coven that was trying to warn me, you know what I'm saying, because they get tricked. This is why I'm saying do not listen to these celebrities throwing up this 666 because it's a trick because once they get you in this cover and you start going to these rituals and you start figuring out what's going on then they will kill you um for joining and figuring out that you can be credible because i didn't join the coven so i cannot i'm credible because of the holy spirit because of god but because of jesus christ and jehovah i didn't denounce him but if you denounce jehovah and jesus christ and join this coven that you have more credit to your statement about what they actually doing to these people and to me to victims because then they could be like yes i'm in this coven and this this person was involved and we was involved and we did this and they did that that's why they say they're gonna cut your tongue out and kill you because they know you know too much but see me i only know what they have done to me and my child uh on the spiritual level of what god have revealed through the holy spirit and what i have been witness to what they have done but someone in this coven uh, trying to get out and expose this information that I'm exposing would be in, in even more danger than me, you know. Um, so say somebody was to bring me into this coven and then they finna do something to a child and I'd be like, no, nah, I don't want to be involved. It's different. God can still help you escape. Or you will have to die, one or the other. But if I came and they were like, oh, we want to help, we want you to do this with us in this coven, and I see them about to hurt a child, all these high prominent people, and they sitting there about to hurt a child, and all these black people, and they all sitting there about to hurt a child, and all these black Freemasons, and they sitting there about to hurt a child, and I say, no, I'm not, let me move around a little bit, this black lady is coming over here. Um, like, I don't want to say they disturbing me, but I don't want them to start disturbing me, and I don't want to disturb them. So I move around from you, you move around from me. But anyway, so, um, so that because they coven women, they coven women, they know what's going on in this country, and they're trying to just keep going on as normal while America is doing this to me because they in these covens. That's why they getting turned out the way they is. But anyway, uh, let me go ahead and uh, finish telling y'all. So if uh, they was finna do something to a child and they came to me telling like, like, oh, come on, do it with us and denounce Jehovah and Jesus Christ, come on, let's do this to this innocent child. Then if I did it, then God would send me to hell. Cynthia have been doing this with this coven for a very long time. And this coven have been doing this to African-American people for hundreds of years. So they already know they going to hell. And they've been upholding this system that's been killing our people still. They know they going to hell. These police that's been shooting up black people, they know they going to hell. They know that that, that, that sentence of, uh, don't really matter as far as going to jail. Yeah, it matters. But the biggest thing that matters is that they know they going to hell for all the stuff that they've been doing to blacks. So people keep talking talking about lock him up, lock him up. Understand what these people destiny is. These people are going to hell by the hands of Jehovah and Jesus Christ for killing them black people the way that they did. And the people that's covering up the truth about their murders is some of the blacks and the other nations that's in this country that come from different countries and are immigrants and get citizenship here. They out here helping them to cover up these murders. Okay, so um, I'm gonna move up here a little bit because this black lady is coming up here, setting up some signs and bullshit. But I'm about to go in the store. So basically, 
but like I said, Cynthia told me that she is going to hell. She told me that she is. He started walking towards me. She said that um he is. Um, she said she is going to hell. And the Lord showed me that Joseph and Cynthia and all of those people out there that was threatening to shoot me up with bullets and burn me. He said they will try to burn themselves and shoot and kill themselves when he get here. He that's what he said. He said that all it, that everybody that if he was to come right now they would all try to kill themselves. That's what Christ told me. He, why they threatening to kill me? He said if he came. If he was to come right then when they was doing that to me in that cell, he said if he would have came back right then to judge the earth when they was doing that to me in that cell and threatening to do all that to my baby, he said they would kill themselves. They would try to kill themselves. He said they would set themselves on fire and they would be shooting themselves. He said that you would hear guns. Christ Jesus let me hear guns going off. Pow, 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 pow. And all their houses. Everybody was shooting themselves from this coven. Everybody was shooting themselves in the head. Everybody was lighting themselves on fire with gasoline. And they was out there screaming. <laughs> running around setting themselves on fire because Christ Jesus said that's what happened if I came back right now but he still came in the spirit and saved me um that lady came walking past me out of the store she ain't even getting nothing out of the store so anyway um he that's what God said and so they are in this coven and they know that if Jesus Christ was to come back right now, they'll be trying to kill themselves. They wouldn't be out here trying to kill me because Jesus Christ. They, cause He said because of their sins, because of everything that they have done on this earth. That's what he said. And they said they were going to rape and kill me and my child. That's what they said. They said they were going to rape my baby. He was only 22 months old. And then they said they was going to kill the baby in my womb. And God said because of all the things that they have done, that they will try to kill themselves when he come. So as far as I'm concerned, Cynthia is in the coven and she told me that she was going to hell, that she done did so much in this coven that she already knows that she is going to hell. That's what she said. And she said she was scared to die and that she was sick and that it was some sort of ritual that she was trying to perform with a baby's body. She said that she wanted to get in the body of my baby um, because when she dies, she going to hell. And she said everybody in the jail knew what kind of ritual it was. And she said, she was she got in my body and she was trying to get in my body and stay in my body and Jesus Christ cast her out. She came and got in my body talking about she's sick and that she gonna die and when she dies she going to hell. And I had that on my other channel about Cynthia Vera um, doing the witchcraft and trying to come in my body while I was in the jail when they tried to murder me. She had came in my body and Jesus Christ came in the cell and Jehovah came in the cell and he said I cast y'all out of the kingdom of heaven and I call out my bloodline and any of my women out there from my bloodline, hallelujah, it's that because you know about witchcraft. And I'm a cosina voodoo. And I'm a shanto no no more cell. They did voodoo on me and my cell. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Come for me in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen.